The reason why this song you just heard is still having 3.8 million views on YouTube is because it was Peter that sang it. This was coming from Root Boy. In this is recent podcast, Omona, I did not see these two people coming back together again. Let's just forget about it because it will never happen. Root Boy, one of the P Square's brothers has exposed a lot of things. In fact, this is a recent podcast. Let me tell you the honest bunch of truths. A lot of people now are going back to watch this Ejajo video you just watched now. All because of what Root Boy said. He said a lot of things. And I'm going to be quoting him so that you will definitely forget about their union. Nobody should ask them to reconcile again. According to Root Boy, he said, remember that Root Boy is always the one writing songs and singing. But... Peter will always come with a different concept, you understand, which is making him not to get the intended mood after writing songs. Rude Boy also said that sometimes after singing with Peter, it will just be as if he did not even do any song, that he knows the song. But Peter will always come with a different concept. Okay, look at this one that he did with T.I., that this song did not go anywhere. But one song that he dropped, that reason with me, was all over the world. And again, he also complained that whenever they are going out for shows, maybe at the airport, fans will be like, oh, this one is the one that sings, the other one is the one that dances. So the thing, he did not know that ever since then, this thing was getting to Peter. It was, it was paining him. But he would just be like, okay, let him just let it go. That when they came back together to do that Jaye Jaye, he surrendered everything that has to do with Root Boy and said, okay, let us become Peace Square again. He left his brand. He left every single thing that he was doing just because he wanted to promote peace. Yet, Peter was not satisfied. He is always feeling intimidated by my success. He always wants to get to the top. He always wants to be mentioned. That was the problem. That did not end there. Root Boy also said that, okay, that he himself told Peter, okay, bring 10 songs. Let me bring 10 songs so that it will not be like, oh, I am the one bringing song. It's always me. It should be me. Peter was not still satisfied. Yet, Peter was not still satisfied. And all he could do was that he is done that he doesn't want to be a part of Peace Square anymore. So it was Peter that left the Peace Square. And then Paul decided to say, okay, fine, let your will be done. And Paul pulled out. So right now he said that he is now going to wake up his rude boy nature now. That he has over 200 songs that he's not, he has not released. He has never touched those ones. That he is about to release all these songs now that he is wondering how his mother will feel right now knowing fully well that she suffered for them and they are not together anymore although he misses p square but he said that they will never come back again because he cannot have a brother that will go and report him to efcc that assuming he was not he was not his hand was not clean that is how EF, EFCC will put him in their net. That God saved him. Not just him, he called EFCC on him and also his their elder brother, that is Jude. That was just the handiwork of Peter and he has been keeping it for so many years from the public media because he doesn't want people to know what is happening in their family. It has always been Peter talking and talking about the family saying things on social media but right now he is standing up to talk because he has brands that he's influencing and if he did not come out like this now to talk about it on social media he might lose his deals with them now the public fans now are tired some of them don't even want the peace square anymore that it is better let everyone be on his own these were the words coming from Paul Okoye. Now, for some of you fans that will always go to the comment section anytime they post and be saying go and reconcile with your brother, even if they end up reconciling, Peter is chasing another thing. Why Paul is chasing another thing? Their goal can never align. In fact, two of them cannot work 
together. They might decide to forgive each other, but you must understand that Peter's kind of music is different from Paul's kind of music. So there's no way it will work. That is how this group music of a thing happens. We had the likes of two faces, that is the plantation boys, face and the black face, and also the likes of Styplos. You will not tell me that there was no time these people had issues. Of course, they had the different issues, but it all boils down to how they were able to manage it. So, if they can reconcile, let them reconcile. But I am very sure that they will not come back together and start doing music with what is going on in social media because after Paul has said his own, Peter has his own to say, and I'm going to bring the update for you people very soon. Thank <music> you.